Now we all love super cool video effects, but the thing is, most of us don't actually like spending all of that time to make it. So that's why I have gathered seven simple yet cool effects that you can add into your videos right now without the need for any fancy plugins or anything like that. We're going all stock, baby. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is the outline effect. Now we have our footage right here, so I'm gonna duplicate it by holding Alt and clicking and dragging and clip just like this. Then with the second one selected, I'm gonna go to the effects tab right here. Then under open effects, I'm gonna type in edge detect. Then I'm gonna grab it and drag it on this top layer right here. Now our footage gets all weird and stuff, but don't worry, we're doing a thing, okay? We're doing it. So. Next, under video, we're gonna increase the size just like this. And then under composite, we're gonna hit add. So you can see right now we have this effect actually beginning, but you can see there's a lot of noise right here and it doesn't look great. So on the effects menu right here, we're gonna change the mode from RGB edges to grayscale and then bring the gamma up to remove some of this noise and we're good to go. Now the second one is the draw effect. So grab our footage like this, we're gonna duplicate it one more time and just cut it down a bit. So now under effects, I'm gonna type in pencil sketch, grab it and put it on the top video layer right here. You can see that it literally transforms our person into a sketch, which is pretty cool, honestly. So on the effects, we can go into stroke strength. So I'm gonna move it up to about there and just adjust some of these settings to really just work with our image. Now it's gonna be individual for your clip. So yeah, we can even go ahead and add color to our sketch if we'd like to. However, I'm just gonna remove it like that. Now, if you wanna transition from the footage to the pencil sketch, all you're gonna do is grab the fader on the top video layer right here and increase it like this. Now, if you hate bad video effects as much as I do, then there's really only one thing you can do to stop the spread of it, and that's liking this video so that more people can actually see it and learn how to make better video effects for themselves. See what I'm getting at? So on to number three, we have the depth map. Now, the depth map is just, it's bonkers, guys. You can just do so much with it. So what I'm gonna do here is go into effects library right here, type in depth map, drag it on and we get all types of gray. So what is happening here is the thing that's closest to the camera is white. Now, as it gets farther away, it turns gray and eventually it turns black because it's completely removed from the image. So if I wanna mask out the phone in the hand, I'm gonna make sure that adjust map levels is selected. Then I'm gonna grab the far limit and crank it up so that the background is just completely black. Then the near limit, I'm gonna bring it down so that our phone and the hand is all solid white. Then I'm gonna click isolation because it just helps with the edges and refining and stuff like that. So if I turn off depth map preview, you can see all I have left is the phone. Then from there, I can grab this second layer and bring it up and put behind it some footage so that we have our phone and our footage showing at the same time. So the fourth effect we have is the tilt shift effect. Now this is actually super cool, right? It gives you that tiny world vibes. So what you're gonna do is grab your footage like this, usually a city, a landscape, that stuff kind of works the best. Then we're going to, in our effects tab right here under open effects, type in tilt shift blur. Grab it, place it on here, and then we can adjust the position of the blur with our center X and Y. So I'm gonna move it down and you can see it's gonna have the bridge in focus and then leave everything around it out of focus, giving you that awesome tilt shift effect. All right, so you're gonna like this. Number five, we have digital glitch effect. So what we are going to do is first go to the effects tab right here and then under effects, I'm gonna grab an adjustment clip just like this, place it above our footage Cut it down a bit, but we're gonna cut it down just like this to about five frames. That works pretty well. Now just scroll down a bit to the digital glitch effect right here, drag it onto the adjustment clip, and you can see that it instantly just adds this digital glitch to our footage. Now that could be all good and stuff right there, but the problem with this is that there is no sound effects. And quite honestly, not having a sound effect with a glitch effect just feels wrong. Now that's where something like Epidemic Sound comes in, the sponsor of today's video, where I can literally browse through their massive library of over 35,000 songs and 90,000 sound effects to find the right glitch sound effect that'll bring this whole thing together. 
Now, having great sound effects and music is a vital part of making a great video. Right now, they're running an exclusive offer that'll give you 50% off of the annual personal plan on top of their already 30-day free trial if you use my link in the description and enter the code RIPKA50 at checkout. All right, so now on to number six, we have our stylized effect. So duplicate your footage, chop it down, and then in effects tab under open effects, we're gonna type in stylized drag it onto this top video clip right here, and you can see that, dang, it gets kind of weird quick. So what I'm gonna do is go to the composite mode, change it from normal to overlay like this, and then on the effects tab, I'm gonna bring it up to about five so that we actually get some detail from our image in there. Then what I'm going to do is change the style to really whatever the heck I want because there is just a ton of different types of styles that you can add in and quite honestly, it just makes your footage look pretty cool. You can get some cool stuff with it. So we can of course add a bit of a transition right here so that it just fades from one clip to the other like this. And if we want it to be a lot more subtle, we can go to global blend like this and bring it down so that we just have a subtle effect over it. Now on to number seven, we have that inception mirror effect. So we're going to go to effects and type in mirror, drag it on our clip just like this. And we have our mirror showing up, you know, clearly that that's it. Now in the inspector tab, I'm gonna go to angle and type in negative 90. Then I'm just gonna increase the Y enough so that our city isn't on top of itself. And then we can see we got this awesome mirror effect. Now, in order to create more custom video effects, you're gonna need to know how to actually use Fusion. But before you run away in fear, I talk about 11 must know nodes that make up most video effects out there. So check that out right here. Until the next one, peace.